Hello guys, welcome back to Traha Global, a new update update for June. Okay, uh, in this update, guys, we got new PvP mode, transport escort. Uh, we got more class balance. Gonna see like Greysword got uh, some buffs, which I'm happy about, and uh, new seven day mission event new events. Uh, change schedule for arena that match. Um, increase size mission, solo mission, you're gonna see uh, tickets usage uh, and uh, other improvements and changes. Let's start first, let's check the new the PvP mode. Right now you'll see the PvP, you see transport, well from there you can go to most uh, group PvP modes, for example the new one is transport escort okay which will be on monday and friday so two times per week from 2300 server time to 2315 so that's the time to apply for this one um, so let's see what you have to do um, so members 70 on each side level 20 um, it's a pvp map as you can see you can see right there there are like two sides red and blue and there are some wagons transport wagons its movement speed depends on the amount of members of each faction around it so the more members are around that the faster will move uh, winning condition the faction then completes the escort first or brings the wagon far further within the time limits wins time limit by the way is like 20 minutes so you see the final you see where you have to reach uh, there and i believe um, there are also ballista you can see right there uh, and you can fight the enemies so if you kill them their cart will move their wagon will uh, move slower so you have to find the proper strategy either you keep all the players or most of them to your cart so it will move faster or you go to the enemy cart so to to stop them from uh, finishing okay so uh, okay let's see we have also ballista you can use the ballista to slow down the enemy wagon it can so it can slow down okay you can also use it to destroy the enemy uh, ballista to prevent obstacles. So you can also destroy the enemy ballista. Statue only and the final uh, obstacle or something like that is the statue. Only one can be summoned at a time to speed up your faction wagon. If the enemy faction has a statue, take it down. So only one time you can go to the statue and the first that uh, so you'll have to acquire that and that will speed up the wagon so only one time so you have if the enemy are summoning the, the statue you have to get it down interesting let's see the rewards okay so you have uh, win rewards for example mvp rewards there are all kinds of rewards so you get random spirit boxes diamonds Blast stones, platinum, gold, service medals. We have also this blast stone. So transport escort tier two box, transport escort tier one box. Okay. So if you get the statue, you get better rewards. If you don't get, you get only this. So if you kill the ballista, I think of the enemy, you get this. The statue, you get this also. On top of that. Hmm, okay, you can get MVP to get extra rewards, we'll see, we'll see guys, uh, and you see the other, okay, group PvP modes are in here, uh, let's see, there is different time now, they added the team arena, also earlier in the day, which is good, you can see, team arena timing, and arena of trials, so arena of trials, 10 to 12, 14 to 18, 20 to 5 a.m. And Team Arena is from 12 to 14. 
wait, and 18 to 20? No, it's even earlier, I think, or? No, 12, 12 to 14, yeah, yeah, because now it's already past 12, yeah. So they added earlier time, two hours, like 12 to 14, which is good. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's check also the events really fast. We're gonna see also what else we have this. Okay, so new attendance, monthly attendance, and we're getting the steel chains for the new tier. And finally, this uh, legendary pet. Okay, that's not bad. Seven days login. We have this. Okay, and this legendary pet. The whale. Puzzle event is back. Some interesting rewards. Different rewards. You get this. Here us. You get this one. This one. This. So yeah, it's good, good, good rewards. Mission events. Oh, okay, new mission events. We can get this pet, legendary, this one. And finally, this spirit card. Okay, nice. Talents arena, okay. Challenge event. Oh, we got a new type of event. Kill 1000 monsters and you get this then you unlock if you kill 2500 you get 1000 of this if you kill 5000 monsters you get legendary spirit card achievement points okay acquire achievement points also if you get the achievement points ah, this is day one so each day you have different oh you get achievement points for each Mission, mission opens daily at 6. I'm curious, can you also do the previous uh, mission, like from the previous days, or you have to do them each, each separate day? And then I hope you can do oh, like all in the like in other days also. And you have these rewards from achievements, diamond box, and the final one will be legendary uh, spirit card heroes. Okay, 21. Interesting. New type of event. Okay, let's see. Okay, I want to see the balance and other stuff they, they, that they added. Um, one second, let me check if. Okay, ah, yeah, extra runs, guys, from the for the missions. For the daily or for the sides, you can add, you can uh, buy extra like 20 now, 20 size mission. And for daily, I'm not sure, I'm gonna check in a bit. One second, okay, let's check the patch notes really fast. So, class and skill changes for great sword active skill. Skill charge added 30% moment speed reduction for 3 seconds. That's insane, guys. I really like that because everybody was running from uh, the great sword. Skill indomin indominability, oh, it's so hard to pronounce, <laughs> increased cooldown reduction from 20 to 30. Hmm, 30%. Skill Tyrant Berserker increase movement speed increase from 30 to 35 percent. I'm happy because uh, was kind of slow compared to other classes, so that's good. Passive skills, Skill Vengeance added normal attack increase increase damage to skill description. Uh, fix an issue where normal attack increase did not increase damage on female characters. Skill Rat Strike added normal attack increase increase damage to skill description. Okay. So only one class for Grace or they buffed him his speed a bit. And he has extra stun. I like that. Uh, slow, sorry. It's slow, not stun. Okay, here you can see the description and the rewards you can get from the new PvP mode. Uh, I told you about the change arena schedule. Also change that match schedules. Add the time slots to allow more chances to play dead matches 
that match schedule open daily from 14.30 to 15 based on server time from 20.30 to 21 based on server time added hot time to match open time uh, match changes to siege war balance okay uh, reduce amount of attackers from 200 to 120 reduce amount of defenders from 150 to 120 Reduce gate HP by 25%, reduce statue HP by 15%. Added monsters to Tower of Trials, added 5 10 monsters for each area in Tower of Trials. Nice. Mission changes, added 7 day mission event, added a 7 day mission event for all new and existing characters and boosted characters. After the set, uh, the set time, the next day, the new daily mission will be unlocked every day. Okay. So I think we can do the previous days. So you saw the new seven days. There are different rewards for different characters. For new boosted characters, there are different rewards for veteran boosted characters. For all characters. I think we saw the ones for all characters. Quality of life, life changes. Increase the daily usage limit for side mission tickets from 10 to 20. Increase the daily recharge limit for solo dungeons from one time to two times. Mm -hmm. Okay. And other improvements as you can see in here. Okay, so uh, interesting update. It's not huge, nothing big. I hope uh, next one they will add more stuff including a uh, new uh, story and increased level cap or a new zones we will see okay so this was the update let me know what do you think till next time see you guys bye